Okay, I'm gonna show you how to recover your PSP. There's two things. You would, oh, okay. First off, you would only use recovery if you break your PSP due to flashing themes or anything to the PSP's internal memory called flash. And there's two types of flash: flash zero, which um, is the main XMB menu, like the icons, the waves, the themes, and the volume bar, just to name some of the stuff. And Flash 1 is more of your settings, such as saving the background or your wallpaper to your PSP. That will be considered as Flash 1. Okay, first off, you need to download the 1.5 official firmware. Save it. And then you need the recovery, which I have right here also. It will just pop up automatically because it's a direct link. Copy recovery to the desktop. Mm, yes. Close that. Open up the 1.5 eBoot zip. And just put it to the desktop. Now, here's the important thing. You need to name the eBoot the 1.5. You need to change its name to update. After you do that, place it in recovery. Now your recovery folder is all set. <laughs> now that you did that, let's pretend that my PSP is bricked. The screen is black. Okay? Now, this is how you would get into recovery mode, which pretty much makes it easier to flash themes and stuff. But also, if your PSP breaks, you can go there to use the recovery folder and fix your PSP. So, hold the R trigger when you turn the PSP back on, and you're in recovery mode. Go to Advanced, no. Toggle USB. This is if your PSP is bricked. This is the only way you have to do it. So I'm doing it as if my PSP is bricked. Okay. Go to open folder. And then... Fold this over here. Grab the recovery. Or go to PSP. And then open game. Drag recovery into the game. There you go. Just let the files copy to the game folder. Alright, it's done. You can just close it. Come over to the PSP and go run program at PSP recovery. Hit X. You're about to flash your PSP. Press X to start. And I set bombs. Responsibility is what happens. So I'll press R X. Now it will write the files. The 1.5 eBoot. After this is done, I'll show everybody who's downgraded their PSPs to 1.5 how to get up to the custom firmware 3.40 OE-A. Currently, it's at 38%. If I'm sniffing a lot, sorry, my allergies are really bad. Uh. Ninety percent. It's almost there. We start the PSP Mali. It's done.
So I turn off my PSP. Every time you update your custom firmware or recover, you'll get the blue screen, which is not bad. It happens all the time. And just push circle. The best because your settings are need to be fixed. You have to go to restore default settings. Even after you push circle and do all this, you still have to do uh, restore the default settings for the main menu. It's just to fix any bugs that are in the firmware. There you go, 1.5. Uh, I remember when my PSP was like this. Just an info. Ta da! Alright. Looks like everything is back to normal. And there you go, 1.5.